In a previous movie, we looked at setting up the control bar so that you can have icons specific to the features and operations you like to have available to you with the click of a mouse. In this movie, we're going to look specifically at the transport buttons and look at some options available to you there. So here I have just a couple of the transport buttons showing. I have the stop button, the play button, and the record button. And you can see for each of them, as I move the cursor over the button, a little white arrow appears. And what that's telling me is that there are some options related to that particular button. So let's start with the play button here. If I go to the beginning of the song and hit play, and then hit stop, when I hit play again, Logic is just going to keep playing from where I've stopped. And that's because there's a particular option for the play button that I don't have engaged right now. And that option is play from last locate position. So if I turn that on, and I can either right click or command click here to turn it on, and I go back to the beginning here, I'm going to hit play, then I'll hit stop. And when I hit play again, it's going to play from the last locate position, which was the beginning of the song. And that's just different behavior. And I can decide which of those two behaviors I'd like to have. When I hit stop and then play, do I want it to keep going or play from that last locate position? And this locate position can be defined in a number of different ways. For example, I can come up here to the LCD display and in the bars and beats area, I can say, well, I want to play back from bar four. That's my locate position. I'm going to hit play. I hit stop and I'm going to hit play again and it's going to play again from bar four. And again, if I'd rather have it just keep playing from where I had stopped, I would simply uncheck play from last locate position. Remember, you can also define playback position using the locators. This is the left locator and this is the right locator. And even if cycle mode is off, those are still the locators. And you can see them defined here in my LCD display because I have it in custom display mode and I chose to show the left and right locator positions. So I have key commands set up with my logic so I can jump to the right or the left locator. I've just located to bar five. And I hit stop and I hit play again. And because I have it set up to play from last locate position, it plays from that position again. There's some other options relating to the play button. One of the things we saw in an earlier movie was the marquee tool. And I have the marquee tool set up here as my command click tool, so that if I hold down the command button, I can make a selection with the marquee tool. And when I hit play, it's going to play the selection defined by the marquee tool. And remember, you can even just click once with the marquee tool, and although it's not a selection, it's a marquee position. And if I hit play, it plays from that position. And that's because for the play button, if I hold down control or right click here, I can see play from marquee selection is currently turned on. It's checked. If I uncheck it, then I can make a selection with the marquee tool, and you can see I'm located somewhere between bar 11 and bar 12. And I can say, well, I'd like to go right to bar 11 here. And when I hit play, that's where it plays from. That's because even though there's a marquee selection, the play button isn't set up to play from the marquee selection when there is one. If I turn that on again, there's that. The stop button also has some possible things that you can set up for how it behaves. Right now it's just set up as a stop button. So if I locate somewhere, I hit play. And I hit stop, it simply stops. If you want, you can change that behavior. So here, for example, I'm going to right click and I can say stop and go to last locate position. So now I'm going to locate to bar five. I'm going to hit play, then I'll hit stop. And it jumped back to bar five. 
Or you could say you want to have it jump to the left locator. So regardless of where you play from, in this case bar 13, when I hit stop, it jumps to the left locator because maybe that's how you want to work. Now keep in mind that I'm actually hitting a key on my keyboard that's specifically the command stop. That's different than just hitting the space bar. When you hit space bar, it's a different command for stop, so it doesn't actually behave in the manner I just described. So for example, if I go to bar 13, I'm going to hit space bar, and then I'm going to actually hit stop, and I have it set up for a key command. And it jumped to the left locator because it's set up to do so over here. But if I locate to bar 13, I'm going to hit play, and then I'm going to hit space bar to stop playback. That's actually a different command in Logic. It's not really stop, it's really just toggling play so that it didn't jump to bar 5 where the left locator is. And this takes a little practice to kind of get, a, get the hang of how all of this works, and then once you do, you'll wind up setting up these buttons for how you like to work in Logic, how you want Logic to behave as you hit play and stop.